All right, viewers, I'm having a little bit more fun with this than I thought I would. Um, so I'm actually going to try drawing something else now. Not anything, um, not anything as difficult as the, uh, the cylindrical bottle there. That was, um, that was kind of unnecessary. Um, but there's nothing else, um, around me quite that I could draw. If you hear any background noise, like, it's just me kicking off my shoes. Um, yeah, I should have put, put some thought into this before I did it. Okay. Yeah, I feel sorry, guys. Um, I didn't have something in mind, and it came back to bite me in the butt. Oh, here we go. Oh, but that's another cylindrical shape. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll show you guys anyway. Anybody here like cake? I'm a pie person myself, but I'm going to draw you a container for frosting. Again, kind of like the um, like the bottle was. I'm going to start with a semi-elliptical oval-shaped thing at the top, because it's opened. Now, it doesn't just go straight down. It's not like a regular can. It's plastic, so it's going to kind of lip itself kind of like this. And then it's actually going to start coming down the sides right about here, like that. Now I'm going to draw this here because you can semi, you can somewhat see through the plastic. Um, it's a clearish white plastic and you can kind of see through it. And you can see the um, sign, the rest of the paper here on the foreground, kind of through the other side. Um, bring this down just a little bit more. It's kind of short and stubby. And top it. Uh, not top it, but finish it off at the bottom. The cap that goes on top here, the cap that goes on top here is down here. So I'm going to draw it down here instead of being capped at the top. A lot like this. So it kind of looks like a discarded spool at this point. But, um, if you didn't get that, viewers, um, don't worry about it. That's a reference to something you guys probably wouldn't even remember. Or even care about, if I did tell you. Um, now, there's the logo to do, and it's not exactly, um, perfect. But it's, what is it? Let me look at it. Ah, um, it's a Duncan Hines um, cake frosting, and what I can see of it from here is the Duncan's it's the Duncan Hines logo, kind of just cutting off right there. I can kind of get the C A and there, and then the rest of the Hines, which is spelled. Okay, so from here I can pretty much see some part of the N and the S. So we have can N E S. I don't know if you guys can read that, but then down here, kind of cutting it off in the middle, is the actual logo of the thing itself. And it's kind of, um, let's see, got it up here. Just a little bit of inscription. I'll, don't worry about that. I'm not going to expect you guys to be able to read it. So, um, let's see. All I, can, all I can read of the creamy is E-A-M-Y. So E-M-Y is going to be placed on this piece of artwork, viewers. And then down here in smaller prints is home style. 
Luckily, I can fit all of this on the thing. And then I kind of get the vanilla. Did I even spell that right? I didn't. Easy fix. There you go, viewers. That is a Duncan Hines can of... Oh, hold on. Something I completely forgot to draw. Now, if you're wondering what this is, I'll tell you right now, it's not a straw. It's a spoon, in fact. I mean, who just puts frosting on their cake? Kidding. Half of it's gone to some mysterious magical outside force before it even gets to the cake, viewers. You all know this. Actually, I'm going to do something here that I didn't do with the other one. I'm going to give it a little bit of shading. Um, not a whole lot, because um, this is pen. It's not very easy to shade in pen. I'm going to put it on the background plane like it was. And the, sh and the light's coming at it from this direction. So the shading so the shading's actually going to be over here. So, a little bit darker towards the corners, and kind of lighter toward the middle of the can, just kind of gradually fading to the top here. Now, if you're using a ballpoint pen like I am, it's a little bit easier to shade because instead of being on it like this to the point that you can only see the back part of the pen, if you do it at a side like this, you're only getting a little bit of ink on the paper from the side. Um, so it doesn't exactly make like a line like that. You get kind of the not so dark and at the same time not so light. Just kind of shading there. I'm almost done, viewers. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, this isn't going to be very exciting like I think I've said before. Um, but I do hope you enjoy them nonetheless, and have a good day, viewers.